Well, happening tomorrow, the Richland Police Department down in uh, Rankin County will be hosting their very first ever National Night Out. Yeah, they'll tell us all about that. We're joined by Richland Police Chief Nick Linden. And Chief, uh, talk to us about what is National Night Out. Yes, sir. It's a national event that's held across, all across the country, and it's our first time participating in this event. Uh, we're extremely uh, energetic about what we can do. Uh, Chief McClendon, what made Richland want to take part in this national event? Well, with the negative stigma that's surrounding law enforcement these days, we figured it's best to get out in the community, have a positive event where our community can come together, have a night full of fun with helicopter shows, face jumps, phone parties, face paint, meeting our canine officers, meeting our SWAT team, and, ju and just seeing the human side of police officers. And for uh, people who are going to be out there, what's uh, some of the big other things that are going to happen at the event going on? This is uh, How many hours are you just going to be out there tomorrow night? We're going to have several food trucks that will be there providing food. We're going to have raffles, which I have a lot of them behind me, uh, that we're going to give out. We're going to have a dunking booth where we're going to dunk a cop, dunk a SWAT team member, and dunk a dispatcher. Uh, family fun, face painting, fo uh, phone parties, and, uh, and Zach Bridges Band will also be attending. Uh, along with Mississippi Blood Services. Chief, what do you want people to take away from this event? Just to, uh, to come out and have a good time with the people and the officers who, who support them and protect them in the community. We're inviting everybody from the metro area. It don't matter if you're from uh, the Richland area or not. Come out and have a good time, socialize with police officers, and see, see the good side of law enforcement and what we do. Chief, how important is it to have that relationship with the community and, and the citizens when it comes to policing these days? It's, a, it's extremely important. And, and here in Richland, Mississippi, we have a great support group. All the raffles were donated by local businesses, and our community really supports that. But uh, we got to get the we got to change the national narrative that you know all police are bad. Uh, you know, a vast majority, the overwhelming majority of police officers are extremely good and love their citizens and, and willing to lay down their life for them. Okay, so it's, it's not just for people in Richland, but particularly people in Richland. Tell us again now, what time and where do we gather? It's tomorrow night, five to nine, at the Parks and Rec Center, which is basically behind the Walmart. It's a new facility uh, that the city of Richland built. It has basketball courts, it has a splash pad, uh, and it's a very nice, unique place to hold this event. Uh, we're also just going to show off our new parts of rec building also. Hey, show off Highway 49, too, while you're at it. That, that, having that completed, that'll help people to get there. Absolutely, 100%. And this is a free event? There's no cost to get for anyone to show up? Nope. No cost whatsoever. Everything's free with the exception of the uh, food trucks. Man. We'll be providing water and drinks for everybody, basketball, and all the other stuff that uh, I just mentioned. Uh, you had me at food trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chief Nick McClendon of Richland in uh, Rankin County. Good deal. See you tomorrow night, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right.